Hi, good evening everyone. Thank you for stopping by my eBay store. Um, this video is going to be about this Christmas album here that I just finished making this morning and it will be going up for sale tonight. As soon as I figure out how to load up the video and everything. Anyways, here we go. This is a gigantic album. I mean, it's huge. It is an 8x8 album. The cover itself is um, it's a 8x8. So the cover itself is about a 9x9. Nine nine. The spine, let me see. I'm not sure how big the spine is, sorry. The spine is about 3 inches. So it's eight by eight, uh, nine by nine by three for the outside dimension, and the inside is an eight by eight album. Okay. So basically, what I did here is that I have this uh, Christmas ornament with a beautiful red cardinal on here as part of the front cover, and then the spine here is covered in what I like to call the rustic green burlap. And then down here I used green, satin green leaf, leaf trim and then red halfback pearl to mimic the red berries here. I carried the theme on through the spine here. As you can see, I have more of that green trim, the leaf trim here. And then I carried it on to the back right here. It's a very beautiful album. And then you got this beautiful rustic green and tan and brown trim going around the borders here so you can even add a picture back here if you want to beautiful album and this one here is a christmas ornament it's actually there's two of these and they were glued back to back and then i cut it and placed this on the spine there is a sticker back here that says we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year but what you can do is take the sticker out put in another circle in and you can actually put in your last name and the year so you can say something like Unibasami 2013 Christmas album okay now let's go on with the inside here um, looks like you're not able to really see let me adjust the video camera here and I'm trying to keep an eye on the timing here too let's see and then go back a little bit there we go that might be better is that better can't tell okay so we open it up here and then we have Santa and this is from the K and company Tim coffee Christmas line I hope you can see it I love this picture of the Santa here it's just such a warm looking picture you know cozy and just just makes me feel, feel good and then I got a chipboard piece here from my mind's eye chipboard stickers and it says Christmas greeting here. And then it's outlined in a gold trim all the way around. And then here's the first page. I can't remember where this, I think this one is also my mind's eye, okay? This is an envelope flap, which is, uh, has a magnet closure here. So, you know, it, it'll keep this page down. So envelope, and then you got this tag here with a red ribbon attached. Isn't that beautiful paper? And get the back here. Okay. Now this was mixed in with some of the Recollections Botanical Noel. More than mind's eye chipboard piece here. This opens up. Okay. And you can place photos on the back here too. This is from the Tim Coffee K and Company line this popcorn tree very pretty and this one I believe is a 7x7 seven seven flat and it opens up like this and then you gotta let me see here sorry about that photo mat up here place for journaling and then I left this blank so you have you can lay it out any way you want to okay and then that closes this closes and then you got this page here. This is also from the Tim Coffee line. I just loved it because it has the birds and it's just a very wintry feel to it. Okay, so this 
it's a flap that opens up this way. Again, it has a magnetic closure, and it opens up this way here. So picture, picture, oops, I'll, I'll get it matted. I'm sorry, I forgot to mat this part down. So you got one, two, three, four picture opportunities here, okay. And then the tag slides out from here with the cardinal. See, isn't that beautiful? And then pine cone on the back. Okay. And then you get a full page tag here. Again, a photo mat on the top with a journaling space on the bottom. Lots and lots of opportunities to journal in here. Now moving on to page three, I guess one, two, yeah, page three. This is a fold up flap and fold down flap. So picture, eight by eight space for a picture. Picture up here again. And this here is a envelope pocket again. So this can fit a four by six photo on here. And in the back, I drew in some journaling lines and a circle journaling line so you can journal about the photo in the front. And then here's another one on the bottom. Again, tons of journaling spot and then over here is the oval one. Okay, and then it opens up this way here. A lot of interactions, a lot of searching for, ooh, what can I find next in this album? Pocket tag. Okay, this here, the pocket is made from the Tim Holtz on the edge die, the Baroque die, okay. And then I have Santa Claus here from the my mind's eyes. And I believe there are two journaling tags in here. Okay. And then two, what's it, two? Oh, one photo mat, sorry. And then one photo mat. Majority of these photo mats are about four by six. So you're able to mount your four by six photos with a minimum amount of trimming. Some of them you may not even have to trim at all. Okay. And here you go. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of fun, this book. Okay, now this one again. It's like another interactive page. This has a magnetic closure right here, which opens up this way here. So you got a photo opportunity here, here, a large tag, 5x7 tag. Again, you can photo put a, you know, for photos. And then here's another photo spot, this oval photo mat that you can place on here. Okay, that closes over. This has this little arrow on the, um, what do you call that, the brads. So you put, push that down and you can open it up here. Two more photo opportunities. A lot of peekaboos and hiding spots for photos. Here's another flat page. This is the closure for this page. Again, a mind's eyes uh, chipboard embellishment. This opens up here. This fancy little edge here is from um, Spellbinder Board Abilities. And I love this. I use this so much in my albums. And it opens up like this. It's again a magnetic closure. Opens up like this. Photo opportunity here. Journaling opportunity here. And then you can put a the photo up here and journal down on the bottom here. This is an 8x8 page again. So you can actually do actual layouts in this. Okay, and then there's a photo tag. Okay, so this actually goes sideways like this here. Photo mat. Okay, and journaling space. And then over here is actually a pocket where you can place in more tags. Put this back, and then this page here. It's another flap, and this is also a magnetic closure with a little flower from the Recollections line at Michaels. It comes up like this here. So photo opportunity up here, and tags. It's a pocket. So let me show you the tags I got. Oops. This tag here for journaling, photo, and another photo map. So pocket here, then you can even place a photo up here. 
and then oh, I love these gingerbread men. They're so cute. And then another pocket here with the Christmas lights. Two photo mats. And then down on the bottom here is again a mind's eye chipboard embellishment where you can um, journal on. You can have date, times, or anything like that. And I'm sorry for the noise. My family is still up watching the movie. Alex, can you turn down the movie? And then on this page here, I have what I call my half tag pockets. They're about four by four. So you can put photos in the front here, up here. Then there's also a little tags inside here, covered in the back too. And the other tag is the same, so I'm not gonna pull it out. But you close it over, and this opens up. It's a magnetic closure. And, oh, change hands. Okay, so it opens up like that. So photo here, photo here. So just on this little spot here, one, two, three, four photo spots, just on a half pocket page. And the same thing goes for on the top here. Oh, this one opens up from the front, like that. Okay, and then this one here is like a gatefold page. It opens up this way here, this way here. Photos and journaling opportunities. Can you even see the papers? Eight by eight page in the center, so you can do another layout. There we go. Isn't this a lot of fun? Oh, this is my favorite page. So I have two long envelope pocket page here. And all the envelopes are handmade by me. So it's not one of those pre-made envelopes that you can buy rec recollections or not. They're all made from cardstock. Again, this here is um, from my mind's eye. And it's a magnetic closure. Again, opens up like this here. This opens up like this here. And pocket tag okay this is a very long one goes in like this so when you oh, sorry the pages are kind of stuck together so it opens up like this and like this and then it opens up back this way photo opportunity here you can journal down along this side here photo here the journal here so a lot of um, wallet size photos that you can put in also. And again, magnetic closures. So it stays closed. And here we go. Here we go. Here's the next page. Another seven by seven flip flat page that opens up. Oops, it's getting stuck in another album here. Okay, so over here, got a photo mat. Again, journaling spot. And on the bottom here, I cut out the teddy bear from the Tim Kofi line, the Can Company Paper Collection. Two photo mats. So you get large photo mats in this album. Because it's not a 6x6, six six, you get large photo tags. Isn't that great? Love it. It was so much fun making this album. It was hard and quite time consuming, time consuming because of the size. I have to say it was fun. Oh, forgot the photo mat on this side. Again, photo mat journaling on the side here. And let's go here. Let me pull out the page tag from here. Oh, this was this is beautiful. Look at this pocket page. Huge pocket. And there are two large photo mats in here again. So this is about, can fit a four and a quarter by six photos here, as you can see how big they are. And you can even put a photo right in here. You can journal down here on the side of other pockets. Okay, so let's put that in with this one, it's right here. Here's another cute page. I love the snowflake page. I love snowflakes. And this is the Believe page. I believe this was the one from the no, um, Noel Botanical Recollections. And it opens up like this. And I don't know if you can see it, but again, I drew in journaling lines here. Okay. 
you can do more photo opportunities here and then on this thin flap here you can place wallet size pictures or you can journal even more here and it's a magnet closure okay. two more long pockets here with um, journaling lines written drawn in okay and then I have here again um, photo spots for wallet size pictures same again here I put a little uh, I think this was a we are memory keepers um, Christmas stickers and I put this tag here because it's open December 25th and it looked like a present really cute present page and you can put a photo down here and you can even journal up here put another photo up here here's a tag an ornament tag look at this isn't the ornaments pretty so beautiful and then I believe the bottom one was the same paper again And here's more of that beautiful birds. I ran out of the birds. I actually wanted to fussy cut it and then put it up on pop dots, but it might be better if I didn't because there's not much room for photos here. And then it will leave you only with this spot. So if you want to cover the birds and put a photo down here, you can do that. And then again, my mind's eye chipboard embellishment, and you can journal on here. Then we have this one here. Isn't this beautiful with the Christmas memories? And you have your three photo mats, full size photo mats. Again, what, for a four and a quarter by six photos. So in this album, you can do, you know, the five by sevens, the four by six, wallets. I mean, it's just so versatile, and there's just so much things you can do with this. And then here's a page tag for this one here. Let me see if I can get it out. This one's a little stuck. Oh, I know why. This is the one that has the flowers. I promised myself I wasn't going to add bulk to the tags, but this had a beautiful poinsettia print here, and I just thought, oh, it'll look, you know, make it look three-dimensional and put some poinsettias here from the Recollection Collections. But, oh well, still pretty, right? It's okay. And then photo mat up here. And then here we go. And this is the last page. And over here too, I kept it plain so you can match your photos here. You can even use actually one of the tags from the um, pockets. And just use that. Put it right here. Journal on it. You can even do that here. You know, instead of leaving it as a pull-out tag, put it in like this. And use these as photo mats tons of things you can do with it and that's my album I hope you enjoyed looking at it this album will go up sometime tonight and I will be putting it up as starting bid at $60 because it took two full paper pads plus tons of um, tape because I use a score tape so tons of score tape was placed into this so and time it took me a week to get this together because of the size of the album and there was so much photo matting to do and as you can see i missed one spot so i will take care of that it will be fully matted i will have pictures of this album up also and just to let you know at the end of this month um the first weekend of december i believe it was december 3rd can't remember when but sometime around then I'm gonna be doing a craft fair so I will be pulling whatever albums I have on my eBay store and I'll be taking them down with me to the craft store or craft fair and I may not be posting any more albums after this or maybe one more um, and then the rest of the albums I just have to build up and build up a supply I guess a stock for me to take with me to the craft fair Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my album. Oh, and I also wanted to show you my upcoming albums. Here we go. I have another fall album that's coming out. It's this one here. It's called Our Family Love at Home. Oh, I just love the sticker. And the sticker is actually what inspired 
this whole album. It's the first item I purchased from, I believe I got it at Joann's when there was a sticker sale and I saw this and I just had to have it. The leaf, you won't believe it, of all places, this filigree leaf, I got it at Rayleigh's when I was shopping there and I went, oh, I love this leaf. I wonder if it'll go with the sticker. And sure enough, and then from there, this album kind of came into being. Here we go. And I believe this one was 9 by 6 I haven't done anything inside yet. I just wanted to get the cover together because it was just bugging me. And I was trying to get that album fixed so I could get this set up. I mean, it just that it was just sitting there and it was one of those things where I was inspired to do it. I wanted to do it. I was like, oh, come on, let's hurry up and get the album done so I can move on to this. And then as you can see here, see, I haven't done any matting yet, but this one is going to be having, this is going to have flaps. Every page has a flap. And then I made a quarter inch spacing put a flap between the flap and the page so that I can have some rooms for embellishments in here. Not too much, but some. And I believe there are one, two, three, four, five, six pages here. And then over here is going to also have another six tags. So six pages, six flaps, that's 12 plus another six tags. That's about 18. So about 36 photo opportunity spots. So that'll be cool. Okay, and then one more. I'm doing a gatefold style album also here. And this is a this is huge. This is a six by ten. <laughs> Do you see how huge that is? Okay, this one was actually um, inspired by Kathy Ortha at Paper Phenomenon. I loved her folio albums. I went to her with, um, blog and purchased the tutorial. Now the tutorial I purchased was the one that gave me rights or allowed me to make these albums and then sell it on eBay. It does not give me the right to teach it. So I can show you and if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. But if I cannot, it's because of that. I did not purchase the tutorial rights. And basically it looks like this. So you got three pocket tags here. And then another three, and you can see there's in between little tabs here. And uh, there's one, two, three, four. And then here are my envelope pages. So like I said, I make my own envelopes. So they end up looking like this. Okay. So this is a six by nine and a half. So a huge page. And basically it is gonna become a full layout because basically what you're gonna have here is a when they meet up like this you're gonna have the two sides meet up you're gonna end up having a 12 by nine and a half kind of like a layout or spread as you're flipping through the album so you I hope you're excited about this because I am kind of dreading it too because it's so huge but I'm gonna make the nutcracker sweet out of this one and maybe the 12 days of Christmas okay so basically for my envelope page what I did was scored out let me see here so this here and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add in flaps or not so I'm kind of up in the air about that right now okay so basically it's a um, nine and a half by six Nine and a half length by six inches in width page. So basically I cut out a piece from six by ten and a half and then I scored on this side down to ten and then scored this side again down to ten and basically it's ten and a half minus one inch so it comes out nine and a half inches when I fold these in. So these have been scored already. Fold them in. So now they're nine and a half. And then what I do is after I do that, take out your score tape. I love score tapes because they're pretty strong. They're still not as strong as the red sticky tape, the tacky tape. And I use those on my spines and on my covers because I feel that they are still a lot stronger. Only thing I like about these score tapes is you can rip it with your finger. Okay. Then you wanna score it down just so that it's easy to take off and that 
tape it on really good. And then this will be the other side of the envelope album. Line it up. Oops, not really lining up very well. Sorry about that. First time doing this, guys. I'll get it one day. See, I've been doing this all night and it's been going so smooth. And when I do it on a video, of course, I get glitches. And that way, you don't see this little flap. It's not on top where you can see it. Okay? It's hidden underneath. So it's like a pretty much like a hidden hinge binding. So it's like this. So when you put the paper on it, you won't see the little lines, paper lines on the side. So that's that one. And basically when I mat them, I always do that quarter inch rule. So if this is a nine and a half by six, then I cut out a designer paper by nine and a quarter by five and three quarters. So there's a quarter inch smaller going in. And then it leaves about one eighth of an inch border all around the photo. Okay, and that's it. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the album. If you love it and you want to buy one, great. Have good luck in bidding. And remember, it's free shipping also. Okay, and it's always shipped in a box so that it arrives to you safe and sound. Okay, thank you very much and have a good evening. Bye-bye. How did I sound? Okay. I hope so.